Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this on Facebook and asked for some help. This red has actually been print. I was at a show last year where they have puffy um, paint or, you know, a direct to print type stuff where the black's not puffy, but the red is puffy. And when they heat this up, it becomes that puffy look. It is really cool. I don't know of any way to do it in Corel. I played around with it a little bit and it kind of, uh, you know, from a distance kind of looks like it. And what you could, I'm just trying to get you an idea on maybe how to do it. But I've got this, uh, it's almost 10 inches long. I've got my nudge factor set on 10. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go to effects and contour. I'm gonna contour the outside one time, 0.1, it doesn't matter what color. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go to object, uh, break contour part, and then grab that contour and move it over. And then make it black. And then make it something thicker than, you know, so it is makes up this part. But you're going to have a space between the black and the red. Hopefully, if we do, if we run it back, you can see the space. So that'll be the gray of the T-shirt. Now on this, I made it a red. I'm going to make it like a little bit thicker than a hairline. I'm going to contour to the inside. And I made a color. I made a darker red. I'm actually going to make it a little bit darker this time. I'm going to hold down the control button and put a little bit more black to it. So I hit two clicks of black. So now what I can do, I'm gonna to go to the inside 999 times, 0 0.001 with rounded corners and I'm gonna get the eyedropper and I'm gonna pick my new color. And then I'm gonna hit apply. Well, I did it, I did it to my color. Now I can back up and do it to the, the wordage. And it's still, you know, it's not gonna look puffy, but it does give a little bit to it. Let's go, uh, let's make this a little bit darker still. So I'm gonna hold down the control button and hit, and I might, I might, you might not even have to go 999 times. Let's try uh, 500. 0 0.01, get our new color. And what that did, that looks pretty good. If I must say so myself. Now we're going to move that over. And then you can kind of pick on, you know, do you want that black spot? And do you want that black spot? So you could go up here and go uh, break the curve apart and you could remove those black spots. You know, that one you might want to keep, but that's personal preference. And then if you put it on a black or a gray background, you look you a little bit darker, go object order back a page. From a distance, it kind of looks puffy. And somebody suggested on right below on Facebook to use the inner shadow tool. I couldn't really get that to work, but this, Kind of works. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.